Hi Taurus, it is Thursday, September 8th, and it is 2.45 in the morning here in Texas. I made it home. So let's do your reading and see what's in your current energy right now, Taurus. I'm just going to shuffle three times up your energy get it into the deck What does Taurus need to know spirits? Taurus's current energy. All right, so you're starting off with the Nine of Cups. The Five of Cups. We're gonna go back and clarify the cards. The Nine of Wands. The Magician, Strength, Leo Energy, you're sad about something, there's sadness here, something's very difficult, but you haven't given up yet, Taurus. Knight of Pentacles, Two of Cups. Ten of Wands and the Six of Pentacles. On the bottom of the deck, there you are, Taurus, the Empress. And right behind you, the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, let's see what's going on, Taurus. Let me clarify before I say anything so I can get this right. I'm going to shuffle three times. I feel like everything seems right and good. Everything seems as it should. But there's this empty space, I want to say. Like, there's a sadness here with that Five of Cups. Why is the Nine of Cups here, Spirits? We have the Queen of Wands. Five of Cups again. And the Ten of Cups. like you're showing up here very confident, very determined to go after what you want. And it, it, like I said again, you have the Ten of Cups right next to you here. You have your happiness. But there's this, this energy that is surrounding you about what has been lost in the past with the Five of Cups. So let's see where this goes. Why is that there? Why is the Five of Cups here, Spirits? What is this sadness? We have the Page of Pentacles. The Hermit, you may be dealing with a Virgo. 
you may feel isolated I'm seeing new love here in your energy but I I'm getting a feeling here that you feel alone but let's see where this goes because there's a sadness lingering here so there's new love coming in but there's a sadness from the past why is the nine of wands here this is something where you have your walls up the two of cups nine of swords higher fence Taurus energy there's a committed relationship here that you haven't given up on yet the nine of swords is here so it's like um you're you're thinking of someone you haven't quite given up on them yet why is the ace of cups here but it looks like new love is here yeah three-party situation you may be dealing with a gemini This isn't for everyone. This is a general reading. But what I'm picking up on right now for whoever this reading's for is you're connecting with someone new, but there's a past energy here that is still on your mind. Why is the magician here? We have the Knight of Pentacles. There's a new job opportunity. There's new love. The tower has come down. Everything's new. Judgment is here. Um, Ten of Swords is here. There's been a very painful en ending that is lingering here in your energy. The tower is everything that used to be is no longer... And the new is here, taking action on the new, but judgment is is here. So let's see what this judgment is. Okay, we have the sun. There could be a baby for someone. Um, the sun and judgment, I'm seeing an awakening happening here. If there's, even if there is a baby involved, that's not for everyone. That's just for a, a message for someone specifically here. But I'm seeing that you have started over with your life. Judgment has arrived and the sun is here. And so there's happiness here. But there's someone here that lingers on your mind. And then we have strength, Leo energy. Why is strength here? It's difficult to walk away from the commitment from the past. I'm seeing you walking away. But with strength here, this is someone that you've been through a lot with in your past. You've built a lot with this person. And so it's hard to walk away into the unknown. It's maybe a Cancer or a Pisces. We have the Eight of Pentacles. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? The Eight of Swords. Okay, so someone here has turned their focus away from this, 
this love, this connection that's showing up here and is spending a lot of time at work trying to forget about you. This person has put their focus somewhere else. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? The Ace of Pentacles. The Fool. There's a new opportunity. I'm seeing a message coming in. I have Aries energy here with the Fool. Sagittarius is also here. There's been an argument with someone here about um, someone doing something sneaky, someone not being honest. And so... I'm seeing a... It's like you're... I'm getting confused as to who is who in this reading. I feel like it may be different for all of you. So reverse this if, if I'm saying it in reverse. But I'm seeing someone here taking a leap of faith when it comes to some type of new opportunity. And this opportunity, this is not love. This is a new job or something that has to do with your money. There's something that I see you taking a leap of faith on with a message coming in. A message coming in out of the blue unexpectedly. And it's showing up here as this is going to be a great opportunity that opens up a new door for you. That... Um, the advice here is to take this opportunity when it is presented to you. And then we have the Two of Cups. Why is the Two of Cups here? Strength. King of Wands. And the Seven of Cups. It's I definitely see an argument here. You might be connecting with a Cancer or someone who has Cancer in their chart. But I'm seeing you here. You don't want to fight with this person anymore. You know your value as the Empress, male or female. And... Um... There's a lot of confusion surrounding what's going on here because the two of you have been through a lot together. You're showing up as the king and the queen of wands here. So a lot of attraction between the two of you. Your energies are matching up perfectly here. But with strength showing up. It's taking a lot to move on and to let this go. I, I mean, you've you've done a lot together you've been both been through a lot of difficult times together why is the seven of cups here there's been a lot of difficult times here and you may be looking back at this through rose colored glasses because someone here was a very very cold could have even been narcissistic. This person said things they can never take back. Why is the Seven of Cups here? I'm seeing that you've... 
I'm just seeing here that you need to take a look at the bigger picture. When it comes to this person, this is someone that could have ghosted you. This person may be a Pisces. The hangman is here. Don't look at things through rose-colored glasses. I see here that you've turned your back on um, the arguments that this person wants to place in your energy. And you're taking steps forward. And you are very protected here. And then we have this Ten of Wands, so... Something seems difficult here. Ten of Wands. It's like you're just about ready to put something down. Seven of Pentacles. The Six of Wands. And the Five of Wands. You're having to juggle a lot right now. Trying to keep up with things. But like I said... There's exciting news coming in, Taurus. Now we have the Ace of Wands. So I'm seeing exciting news. Something is going to present itself here very soon. It's something that you've been waiting for. So that you can drop a lot of burdens because you feel like you're carrying something uphill and this could have something to do with your money with these pentacles showing up five of wands six of wands with what you're waiting for what you're doing there could be a lot of competition here so that you can actually get to where you're going but you will I see success and victory here you'll have success and victory over whatever is burdening you whatever is difficult whatever the conflict is or competition and then we have the six of pentacles here why is the six of pentacles here The devil Capricorn energy. The nine of pentacles. And the two of wands. I feel like there's a person here, Taurus, that you go back and forth. You let go of them and then... Um, and you feel freedom and you're looking forward to the new path, the new journey. And you feel confident, successful about what you are working on accomplishing here. And then at other times you feel like this, like um, up in your mind about someone here. There's a chain going from one person to the other. So you feel like you don't want to let this person go sometimes. It's the same as the lover's card. There's an angel in between this one on the lover's and a devil in between this card on the devil card. And there's a chain on the devil card. that It's like um, codependency unable to let this person go but the message here is there's a lot of worry here in your energy but the message here is um that you're that you're going to be fine it's okay to walk away these chains this codependency is just an illusion this is the reality here is that you are free you're confident your money's going to grow it's safe for you to hold your world in your hands and to start walking down this new path 
and to take this leap of faith because there is a huge opportunity that is coming into your energy here. Okay, so let me just clarify you right here. Why is the Empress here? Yeah, see, it's, it's this juggling. You're having a hard time keeping up. Um, you may be having a hard time with um, recurring thoughts of someone here that you're feeling an attachment to that you haven't been able to completely let go of. You let go of them and then they come back in your mind. Why is the Empress here? Two of Swords. Yeah, this is not making a decision. Being closed off. Blindfolded, not looking at something. Looking at looking at a connection here with someone that could have had addictions through rose-colored glasses. We have the Page of Cups. Why is the Page of Cups here? The Tower. You may have been dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. The King of Cups is showing up here. But the Nine of Wands is in between the two of you. There's walls put up between the two of you. And I feel like you're exhausted from this person. This person doesn't like to show their emotions. Why is this Page of Cups here? This person, they could have, um, well, I feel like they did unless this energy is re reversed. There's a tower here. Everything that was that used to be between the two of you has completely fallen down, fallen apart. Because this person is offering you very little. This is someone that may travel a lot. But this person is trying to keep you confined. Um, and... Their, their energy shows up here as they could be very controlling or trying to um, keep you in a cup where you don't feel comfortable here. It's like a small cup. They're very immature. I feel like this, like it feels like this person is smothering you at times. And so do not look at this through rose-colored glasses. This is a blessing in disguise. Look at the bigger picture. Look at things from a different perspective, a different point of view with the hangman energy. Because someone here is looking at this person through rose-colored glasses and they don't deserve it. Let me grab you an angel answer card. So think of a question, Taurus, as I'm shuffling. What does Taurus need to know? Abundance. Um, there, There is a huge abundance coming into your energy here, and I feel like it has to do with your money, Taurus. No need to worry. You're going to be fine. There's no need to worry. And just wait. Yeah, because there's... There's someone here... That... Where there could have been codependency. Where you relied on each other for different things. Maybe one was financial, the other was something else. But um, you're going to be fine here, um, is what spirits are telling you. 
and so these are the messages that I have for you today Taurus I hope they help and allow you to see the bigger picture of what's happening in your energy thank you guys for watching thank you for liking and subscribing and being here with me and all of your beautiful comments i love you guys so much and i will see you tomorrow taurus namaste